I, I use the illustration of people putting on Velcro clothes. Man, if you are wearing a suit of Velcro, you will attract stuff. <laughs> and people, can, people go into a church, and if they're in a certain condition of heart, if they don't really want to deal with what the Holy Spirit's mm-hmm. pressing into their life or uh, whatever, who knows, maybe they, their wife made them go or something, you know. Oh, you can find every reason in the world. The pastor has a facial tick when he preaches. Like, you know, I, I have weird mannerisms when I preach. And, or the, who knows, the usher didn't say hi. And, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or there's three mentions of money and not just one. You know, all the things in the world that can, <laughs> folks can be mad about. I know one guy who went to four different churches and the sermons, the, the key scripture, in all four sermons was the same scripture. Now, you know the Holy Spirit's following you from church to church to church <laughs> when it's the same scripture every time. Um, he didn't get it. He'd get mad, think they were talking about him at some pastor's meeting in town. You know, pastors don't even talk to each other, you know, so I, yeah, so I showed you how much he knew. But, but the point is, the point is, absolutely, people go in church and they just start looking. Well, it's a room full of sinners. My goodness, it's a room full of strange people. Mm-hmm. And I've had, because I've been working with people in this regard, I've had folks say to me, you know, man, the church is full of weird people. I, well, let's, let's go down to McDonald's. You know, let's go down to the Y. Let's go. Go to the state fair. Go, oh, my goodness. Let's, let's go to Walmart at about 10 o'clock at night or midnight or whatever. Let's, or a on. ball game it's, and a sporting event. We're just, all, sin has made us all a little weird. Yeah. You know, yeah. come on. Yeah. And um, I just got to learn to love you and your weirdness. You got to love me and my weirdness. And if you're mad all the time and not wanting to have anybody weird in your life, you'll be living on a mountain somewhere in a cabin by yourself. (laughs) And that's the way a lot of people go to church. You will find something to be offended about.